In this tutorial, I'll share my process of creating an animation using Marvel's Designer 2025, Revolution Tools, and Blender. The idea is to design a stylistic character dancing on the beach. Thank you Marvel's Designer for sponsoring this video. I started by creating my character using the base tomb character in CC4. Played around with the sliders to get a look that suited her best. I wanted her to have big eyes and mermaid-like face. I changed her eye color and pick a long, beautiful hairstyle. I also did some touch-up sculpting in Blender. Her movements are meant to be calm and flowing, inspired a bit by Hawaiian vibes. I put on my Rokoko suit to record the motion. She'll be holding her dress and dropping it while dancing. That's why I tucked a scarf into my suit to simulate the action. After capturing the motion, I exported it and brought it into iClone to apply it to my character. And clean it up, I used hand poses to adjust the fingers according to my recorded movement. To prepare my character for dressing in Marvelous Designer, I hid the unnecessary parts like hair and undergarments in Blender. I selected only the meshes I wanted, went to File, Export, Alembic, checked Selection Only and exported it. In Marvelous Designer, I imported my character by simply dragging and dropping the Alembic file into the 3D window, and the motion was there. I usually start with a base garment from the library, which is now located at the top right corner. You can easily access the library, avatars, fabrics, trims, and stage tabs there. But in this case, I decided to freestyle and draw my pattern using the polygon tool. My costume doesn't need to be symmetrical or realistic. So I just went with the flow like a kid drawing whatever they feel on paper. I created a symmetrical pattern, placed it on her back. I used a sewing tool to stitch and simulate. I wanted to create a bikini bottom with long tassels to give it an exotic look. To make the tassels, I select the edge of the bottom, right click offset as pattern outline. I extended it around 50 centimeters and hit enter. Then I select the same edge, right click offset an internal line, uncheck extend and set the number of offsets to 18. I add an internal line right here and cut and sew. I cut and sew these internal lines, select them by fold angle, right click and cut it. Before simulating, I remember to delete the sewing between the front and back garments. And then I re-sew it to the front garment. Now it's ready to be simulated. On the shoulder, I turn on elastic, adjust it to ratio to my liking. And then I added a wristband and shin covers to make the outfit stand out. I use the same tassel method and add fringe detailing to the top. I select edge, offsets as pattern outline. I created the internal lines again and hit cut and sew. In the 3D view, I use the folding tool to fold the pattern outwards. And then I cut and simulate it. I also added a belt and designed a long half skirt. Again, it doesn't need to be in perfect shape. During the dance, the character will hold the edge of the skirt and then she will drop it. I pinch and pull up the skirt and go to pin box and select a face. Place it in between her fingers. Right click and attach pin to avatar. Before simulating, I go to tag tab and select tag on avatar. I tag down the parts I don't want to move.
And I also want to add a tiny pocket to her belt, just because it looked cute. To make the pocket, I drew an internal rectangle on the belt. I used add point x shortcut, moved it down to a pocket shape. Then I right clicked clone as pattern with sewing. I deleted the top sewing to create a small opening and maybe she'll put a coconut in there. Now comes the fun part, the animation pins. So when she throws her hand, I want the skirt to drop right here. So I went to the animation editor tab and added an animation pin. Open the drop down added keyframes at the moment I want her to hold the skirt and I go to the point where I want her to let go the skirt and I click deactivate the pin and add the keyframe. Now when I hit record she will drop the skirt at the right moment. I usually texture clothes later in Blender but for now I just want to test some colors and get a feel for the final look. I use the graphics I made in Procreate and I find it super easy to apply them in Marvel's Designer. So you just go to Object Browser, to the Graphics tab, click Add, drag your texture onto the pattern. And I just use Copy Paste to duplicate it. I'm still not sure about the final color scheme, but I like this one for now. And to export the animated garments, I go to File, Export in Alembic. Choose the file name and save location. I export using Ogava with settings unwelded and thin. Scale set to meters and then hit OK. And in Blender, I imported the Alembic file and it fits the character perfectly. Before setting up my final scene, I wanted to use the walking animation in Marvel's Designer to make a showcase video of the outfit. And to do that, I go to Avatar tab, auto convert to Avatar. Select your character's FBX file and choose Rigging only. And name the avatar and hit Convert. Now you'll get a fun view of your rigged custom avatar. We can also use the avatar editor, the IK Joint tool, and auto map the character to pose however we want. You can also apply any motion or pose from the library. I dressed up my custom character and used walking motion to make a showcase video of my outfit. If I want to use my own motion on an MD avatar, I could go to avatar, auto convert to motion, pick the avatar type and import my custom FBX motion file. After converting, I could save the motion and reuse it on any Marvel's designer character. Now, back to Blender, I have my scene already set. It's the beach scene from Polygonic. I added some new palm trees and set up the lighting. Direct sunlight doesn't look very good. I wanted her to be half in the shades of the palm trees. Added some rocks on the sand and, and added dynamic paint to the sand using her clothes and feet as a brush. I added a mountain as image I also added some birds to the sky to make it look lively and that's my final animation.